Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you happen to be on this mystifying planet we call Earth, I hope you are having a sweet day, evening, night, wherever you're located. Welcome to my duty channel. In this case, I'm using one of the world renowned 3D packs it's called Blender 3D. Version 3.1 to be specific. My topic for the day. I want to talk about the Node Wrangler. I did my little research people. The Node Wrangler has been here since 2012, 2013. So it's roughly been around for uh, a decade. But when you do the research on the Node Wrangler. On YouTube or whatever search. Whatever uh video based website you go to definitely on YouTube because that's where most of us go to I don't see no very scant material on node wranglers so does that mean a lot of people don't use nodes is that what it mean so for me as you see right here here's you go to edit preferences add-ons and you type a node wrangler and you get this when you click on a little arrow to the left you should get a list of the hotkeys I can't go through all of them, all of them high, because it's about it's about over a hundred of them. What I want to do, dear people, I want to just go over at least the twenty most frequently used no Wrangler keys. So that's it. I'm gonna go over twenty of them. So I'm gonna go with my first one right now is the viewer no or viewer keyframe. So let me set it up real quickly. I'm going to go to shading, shading, okay I'm in shading, not the way I like to have it set up, I'll set my way up later but I, I deal with this shading, you see right here we got our standard, uh, I'm going to join this with that, okay at least I can do that, join this with this, okay, so at least I can, I want to join my, uh, I want to add, as you, we come with principal shader and material output node. The most, more, most important one is that material output. So, let me add my little stuff. Then we're going to go over the viewer node. So, let me add some stuff. Add input texture coordinate. Um, I need that. I want to keep my node set up simple for the new people who don't know nothing about the nodes. I want to add two texture nodes. I want to add... Veroni node. I put that right here. Then I want to add another one. Add texture node. Uh, I'll call it Musgrave. And since I'm only going over nodes, we don't need to see the output of anything. So I can make my node window large. We don't need it. We, so I, I have a lot of output space because it's just on the nodes not the not the output of it how to use node wrangler so I got that then I want to add a uh, add the color node I want to add mix RGB I want to just keep it simple I'm going to always stay with this little setup right here whenever I go over nodes I don't want to do nothing incredible fancy I don't care about how it's affecting them, uh, the mesh I just care about node wrangler that's our topic for the day Alright, so my topic for the day is just the real node, so it should be quick. So I can go to output here. I can choose any of them because it don't matter which one, but you know, we mostly use output. And I want to choose, uh, yes, I guess I am going to need my output so we can see what's happening. So let me come over here. We're going to need the output to see what's happening. I haven't done this in a while. Sorry about this, people. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, boy. Alright, let me just go up here and see if I can bring this down some. Alright, I'm going to see if I can add the 3D report right here. Then I'm going to put it back on shading. Uh, 
Let me see if I can add my world opacity. I want to put it back to the way it was. Okay, that's good. So, I don't know why I couldn't do it over here, but I'll worry about that later. But anyway, we got that up there. So, we're going to use this to do with the rear node. We're going to need this. So, to do the rear node, all we need is, let me hit the T key. All we need is for the rear node, shift, control, shift, and right click, and that's it. That's the rear node. So, to do the rear node, all we need is, All we need to do is click on, we need shift plus control, then we left click, left mouse click, left mouse click, give us that. So once more, to get to the rule node. We hit shift and then control or control and shift. Then we do the left mouse shift button and we're good to go. So we got that out the way. And then, so that's one of the most important ones. And I'm going to show you why, T. But first, I did that for the Rock Verano node. So I'm going to go down here to the Musgrave node. Control, shift, left click, and zap. It'll show you how it looks. Now here's the part I just discovered a couple days ago. Then, when I, I want to click it back to the principal shader, that's the most important part. To click it back to the principal shader, I still hit shift, control, left click, and zap. But, see it's not working because I only clicked on uh, the, the Rhino or the Musket up, so I still have to hook them up respectively. So let me still hook these up right here. Hook it up, my script node. I hook it up right here. Then I hook this into the uh, here, and we should see some effect appearing out of the window soon. See, we see an effect right there. That's it. But the rear node property, I can bring these two down a little bit too, can I? If, if, grab, Y, bring them down a little bit. But so that's what is all hooked up. Both of them hooked up to the uh the no to the principal BSD. So I'm gonna hit M M and see I took off for Ronald for Ronald. I hit M again and put it back on. Hit M. That's all Musgrave. Hit M again. I'm coming down here to the uh Musgrave note. I hit M again. Wait, wait, wait. And if you know anything about the nodes, this is exactly how the wrong node look. It looks just like this. So, I'm going to go back to the real node one more time. Hit M, bring them back together. M. They both join together. I'm not worrying about the effects. I'm just worrying about the shift. Now, I just want to see what that's with Ronald nodes. Now, whatever would what, what be behind the Ronald node, that would take effect in the real node. But since I just have Musgrave node, I hit Shift, Control, it just showing me that. But if I had other nodes right here, if I had other stuff right here, everything behind it will have an effect on it. But I just got that one node right here, so it's just showing that one. So I'm going to go back up here again to the Verona node, Shift, Shift, Control, Left Click, and Z. But the important part I like, people, when you want to bring it back to the principal BFD, we go over here to the sh shift control, left click, and it's back there. So, this is my first lesson on the uh, node wrangler, the real node, how powerful it can be. I discovered a couple days ago that I could reconnect it back to the principal BSD. But first, I have certain control shift and watch it how it affect the node but when you want to bring it back together to the principal BSD you just shift control right on that and it's beautiful so the, the real note is very powerful thank you for stopping by for the first episode in this 
20 part series for the new people as you can see I keep growing I don't stop learning I don't stop I push and push you keep learning you keep pushing never stop never give up never get discouraged till next time then the family peace